What's going on guys, it's Brandon back here today, and today I'm going to be talking about my first season that I started watching hockey in 2008-09. Uh, I was four years old, so my me forgive me if my memory is not quite uh, on point, but I this was the first year I started watching hockey with my dad on the couches late at night, and my bedtime was 9.30, so I never got to watch Vancouver. Part of my hatred of Vancouver. Um, not anymore though. Um, so, this year was the renaissance of the Chicago Blackhawks. Before this, we discussed how they were right, They were starting to rise. They got Taze in the draft of 06. They got Kane in 07. They were building a team. They acquired Sharp through trade. Back in 02, 03, they got Keith and Seabrook. The only thing that's not here yet is Hosa. And this is the year before they get Hosa and before they go on to win their first cup in 49 years. So, 2008-09. They went 46, 24, and 12 with 104 points, which is inc which is great, which is a, a phenomenal record, uh, especially for a team that hadn't made the playoffs since 2002 and hadn't won a round since 1996. They were second in the Central, only behind Detroit. They were fourth in the West, even though they should have been third, but the way the playoff system was back then, the leaders of the division, no matter how many points they had, the top three leaders of the divisions in the West and East controlled the top three spots. So it went San Jose was the President's Trophy winner this year, so they had one. Detroit won the Central, so they had two. And then Vancouver, although they had 100 points, four points less than Chicago, they got the third seed. Um, so, oh, so yeah, they basically were third in the West, even though technically they were fourth. They were seventh in the league, which... It's pretty good, especially this is a time where the West was usually better than the East. Uh, however, in playoffs, that usually didn't uh, change. Their coach was their coaches. They had two this year. They had Dennis Savard for the first four games. He went one, two, and one. Then they went to the mustache man himself, Joel Quinville, and he's the longtime coach of Chicago and who the person I grew up knowing his amazing mustache. Um, 45, 22, and 11. So he got this team a pretty good record from when it started at 1, 2, and 1. Their captain, first-year captain, Jonathan Taze, in his second season. Him and Kane were in their second seasons this year. And in the playoffs, they had they beat Calgary in six in the first round. This was the test for Chicago. If they could, they, all they wanted to do, if that's, that's what the world was going to see at this time. Was Chicago going to be good enough to win a round? And they were. They beat Calgary in six. And then they sh they kind of surprised everyone by knocking out Vancouver in six in a crazy game six. That game, no lead was safe. And the goalies just were... It was bad. And then Detroit, they faced in the conference final in which they lost in five. in a lot closer of a series than people know it for. People kind of see it as... Chicago is still this younger brother and Detroit's this older brother. Even though it was five games, three of those games went to overtime, so it was a really close series. Uh, goals four, they were fourth in the league uh, of 30 with 264, so good offense. Goals against, they were fifth in the league uh, of 30 with 216, so good defense. So this team was built really well. And then their best scorer on the team was this year was Martin Havlat, who had 29 goals, 48 assists, 77 points. And their leading goaltender was Nikolai Javi Bulin. He had, uh, in 42 games, I believe he played in, he didn't start 42 games, he started 35 games, if I remember, or 40, I, I don't remember. Um, but him and, him and Cristobal Huey pretty much split time in net this year. And he went 25-8-7. and seven. So, fantastic record for Javi Bulin. This year, what I remember most about it was, firstly, it being my first time that I got in. It was the year that I got into hockey. I was four years old. My dad got me into it, watching games late at, at, from 7 p.m. to whenever I had to go to bed at that time. It, it, it got me off on the right side. I, I grew up at the right time as I allowed to see, to see uh, Chicago's rise. And then the next year they win the cup. And we'll be talking about that next time we cover this series. Other than that, that's really all I have for you today. Uh, thank you for watching. Leave your comments down below. When did you start becoming a fan of your favorite team? And 
Have a nice day.